Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to see if the PlayStation 4 can burn data to a Blu-ray disc over USB. Now recently I've had success doing this with the PlayStation 2 and the Wii U. If you haven't seen those videos yet, I'll have a link in the description below. The Wii U could even save its digital games onto the Blu-ray disc and play the games directly from that disc. The PlayStation 4 has a similar feature called extended storage for USB drives. And unfortunately, we are not going to be able to use that particular feature because the PlayStation 4 requires the disc to be at least 250 gigabytes in size, and the largest BDRE is 100 gigabytes. However, there are other features that we can use USB drives for with the PlayStation 4, like playing MP3 files, backing up applications, games, and game saves, along with screen captures and general system settings. For that, all you need is a disk that's in FAT32 or XFAT. So, let's get started. Okay, so this BDRE is 25 gigabytes. It's formatted in FAT32. I have the Blu-ray burner plugged into the USB port in the back of the PS4. I have made a folder called Music, and in that folder is some MP3 files, which is what the Media Player app is going to look for. So let's first just see if it can even see this disk. Go to the Media Player. Yeah, it's not seeing anything. Let's go up into Settings. And go down to Devices, USB Storage Devices. Hmm, that's not good. Um, let's go down to System, go up to Backup and Restore, Backup the PS4, USB Storage Devices Not Connected. Okay, so power is not an issue. This is a USB 2.0 external burner, and it has two USB-A ports on its cable, because normally when you plug it into a USB 2 host, you're going to need both ports to get enough current to power this drive. The PlayStation 4, however, has USB 3 ports, and that puts out plenty of current to power up this drive. However, just to be safe, I did connect both of the ports to the front here, and there was no change in this device interacting with the PS4. I also plugged it into a powered USB 3 hub, also no change. I tried out FAT32 like this disc is, and I also tried out XFAT, and I even tried out that disc I used in the PS2 video where I had to partition it into two gigabytes and format it into FAT16, same result. And it doesn't really even matter what the format is because there's no engagement between the PlayStation 4 and the drive. It's not like it's reading it and goes, hey, error, I don't like this file system. It's not even trying to seek out the drive. I even tried my old DVD burner with DVD RAM in FAT32 and XFAT, same thing. So what this means is the PlayStation 4's operating system in no way, shape, or form will interact or work with a USB optical burner. So why am I making this video? Well, two related reasons. One, my son thinks I should make more videos where things don't work. He thinks that'll generate more interest and guesswork when people watch the video as to whether it's actually going to work or not. And I think he's right. Now, it may never be 50-50, but I think I'm going to do more videos where things don't work. If I make a good faith effort to get it to work and it doesn't, I'm still going to go ahead and post the video. Number two, whenever I do any video with a USB drive, I wait for the inevitable person down in the comments to say, oh, it's a USB mass storage device, of course it's going to work. That is not true at all among USB devices and USB hosts. Even when the power is there and it's in the right file format, sometimes things just don't work. And it's especially true with USB optical drives. So I think I want my audience to see this that it's not always going to work with a USB drive, and I can point an argumentative person to videos like this and say, no, that's not true. It's unfortunate that the PlayStation 4 doesn't burn Blu-ray discs. I think it would have been very, very cool if it did, but it's just not in the cards. 
So that's going to do it for this video. As always, if you're enjoying this channel, please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon, but that's all for now. Take care.